Hi again and welcome to lesson number seven on how to read in Arabic. In today's video, we are going to study about the long vowels but in depth. By the end of the video, we are going to cover how to write them and how to read them right. But before we start, please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified in any of the future videos. Please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so our first letter is gonna be the letter Ya. The letter Ya is the last letter in the Arabic alphabets, but it's kind of like a little bit weird since we write it looks like this but in the beginning of the word you are going to write it like this it gets attached to on whatever on its uh, left side whereas in the middle it's again the same concept as how you write it in ba ta tha, but it's just that we put two dots in the end below it underneath it however in the end of the word it is gonna get attached to on what is la on the right side and written like this now there is two things that you guys must know when it comes to the letter ya. Yeah. number one the letter ya can stand as a long vowel when it stands as a long vowel it would be pronounced as e two the letter ya can also be as a consonant and when it's a consonant it is pronounced as e e and not e ye so here comes in the question how would you know in a given word a ya that decided to become a consonant or a long vowel answer is simple not as complicated as the question it is if you see a ya itself marked with a vowel then it is a consonant but if you see the letter ya is not marked with a vowel but it comes after a consonant that is marked with a short vowel including kasra then it is a long vowel so now let's practice some reading examples using the letters that we have learned only word number one ya noon ba Ta. Please pause the video and write in the English version how you are going to read this word. Yanbot. Yanbot. Yanbot means it's growing or it's planting. Second word would be ta ya noon. Again, pause the video and please tell me how you're gonna pronounce it. Ta with a kasra. Teen. Teen. Teen with zaytun. Teen. It means figs. Third word would be. Ba ya noon. Ba i na. Baina. Baina means between. Fourth and last word. I think you already know it. Ba ya ta. Ba it. Bait means house. And finally, an important type of ya that I never have talked about. It's this ya. This is a ya without. Two dots underneath it written like you this. would always and only find this in the end of the word written in the end not in the middle nor the beginning just the end and ironically it is pronounced like an alif a vowel but it is called as alif maqsura alif maqsura or ala nabira sometimes people call it alif maqsura it means a shortened type of an alif. Now, how you could read it, I'm gonna give you some examples on how you would read it. Okay, we have this word, ba, noon, alif maqsura. We will read this word as ba, na, ba, na. It means to build. Trust me, I know the question that is coming on your mind right now. Why Arabs don't write it like this? Bana and Alif. And telling you the truth, yes, there is a reason behind that. The reason is related more of a grammar and not reading reason, which I am going to tell you why and teach you this in a future video. But for now, I want you just to stick on the pronunciation since this is a reading class only. Just giving you another example. 
ثاء نون اند الف مقصوره it is ثاء نا ثنا means folded got folded third and last word تا با نون الف مقصوره تا با نا تبنا means adopted to adopt someone so بنا ثنا تبنا all of these are verb الف مقصوره is always you would find it on a verb term moving on to الف and همزه so الف is an isolated letter written like this in the beginning and written like this in the middle and the end of the word it doesn't get connected and it is also considered to be a long vowel remember guys we did have a lesson on hamza please make sure you watch this video i'll keep the link in the description box which would sound and look differently depending on the short term vowel for example the a vowel the a vowel the fatha vowel it would sound like a it would look like this and for the U vowel, it would look like this, U. And the kasra, E, you would write the hamza below the, and the kasra below it. Like this, A, U, E. A, U, E. Now let's practice reading using some words, starting with the letter Aleph. I mean, have the letter Aleph. Our first word would be Aleph and a Ba. A, B, Ab means father second word would be this type of alif if you guys don't know or haven't recognized it please check this video in my description okay box. it is ab ab means august the month of august third word would be an alif and noon and another med alif a na ana means me fourth and last word would be ba med alif and ba bab bab means door i think that's enough of examples now moving on to our last letter of the day which is wow wow is a non-connected letter guys please be careful when you write in the letter wow it is always the circle is above and the body is below this line it is written like this and again it is known as a non-connected letter in the beginning of the word it would be written like this just alone the wow and in the middle and the end of the word it is gonna look the same exactly the same the letter wow is like the ya could be represented as a consonant and a long vowel now for now let us practice some reading example our first word would be wow and the fatha on top of it it's wa wa it means and our second letter would be an alif with a fatha and a wow it is aw aw which means or and our third word would be ta with a dhamma wow and a ta muftuha toot toot it means berries and i think that's all for today now before we end this video let us recap what we did in previous lessons okay so in previous lessons we did take about the three short vowels in arabic that are the letter a u and i now a u a is for a fatha u dhamma and i kasra Kasra is always written underneath the letter. Then we did move on to the long vowels, which are the alif, wow, and ya. And alif is pronounced as a double a, wow is pronounced as a double u, and for the ya, it is pronounced as a double i, e, a, u, e. Then we also took about the sukun for the letter wow and ya. The wow is sakina means any wow that has a sukun on top of it comes with a letter before it that has a fatha. Any letter that has a fatha, it would be pronounced as awa, awa. And any ya that has a sukun comes a letter before it that has a fatha, it would be pronounced as a a and lastly we did cover on how to write and read the letter alif 
which is gonna be look like this and when it has the three vowels on it it's gonna sound like a u e it is a non-connected letter it doesn't get connected on what it's on its left side so you write it alone at the start and you connect it in the middle and the end looking like this we then took about the letter ba which is written like this alone ba at the beginning of the word it would look like this middle like this and in the end like this it gets connected then we did studied about two more letters that looks like ba which are the ta and tha looking like this alone ta gets connected with whatever letter next to it in the beginning it's gonna be written like this middle like this and in the end you would write it like this same goes with tha it's just that we add only three dots or you just could add a curve another letter that is similar to ba is also noon noon is written like this just a curve underneath it and one dot you would write it like this in the beginning like this in the middle and like this in the end of the word and for ya you write it like this in the beginning middle and end for the letter wow wow doesn't get connected just like the letter alif you write it like this at the beginning like this in the middle and in the end doesn't get connected so that was all for today thank you so much for watching this video hope it helped you please don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell to be notified in any future videos leave a comment if you could read the examples if you think that you have progressed in arabic thank you and see you in the next video bye